Two barbers are being called heroes tonight after stopping a little girl from running into a busy intersection. Take a look at the security camera video here. The barbers from East Hartford, Connecticut, busy at work cutting hair. When they see the little girl running down the street, they spring into action, stopping her just a few steps away from this intersection. Wow. Bob Wilson with our Connecticut affiliate spoke with these heroes and has their story. Caught on security camera, a toddler running down Brown Street toward Maine, one of the busiest streets in East Hartford. Osvaldo Lugo was in the middle of a haircut when the small child ran by. He dropped his clippers and ran after the child down Brown Street, snatching her up as a truck passed by in front. I kind of glanced outside and I didn't think about it. I just ran out the door and thankfully, you know, it was the right time, enough time to get there. It took Lugo a few moments to find the parents. He said the mother was at a bus stop and didn't realize her child was missing. The mom lost track for one quick second. Um, it happened. It ha happened to me before. Um, the structure of this building and the bus stop is you can hardly see. Um, so, you know, she was shocked, embarrassed at the same time, you know, thankful. Well, the Look Sharp Barbershop is right on the corner of Brown and Main Street. And there's a lot of traffic here. Pratt Whitney is right up the street. A Coca-Cola transportation distribution center is right up the street. And the on-ramp to Interstate 84 right across the street. The barber says this is incredibly busy. A lot of people here, and he's seen plenty of accidents. So this corner right here is, is busy slash dangerous, uh, which, you know, it, it's, it's, not a, it's not a corner that, that a toddler should be playing. This weekend there was an accident here at night. You know, it's, it's just a busy corner, a busy road. And we got to realize if we sign up to be parents, we got to really watch out for our kids. First thing I think of is where was that parent? Where was, you know, but me, as a young parent, um, I understand anything can happen. That parent could have been on a work call, you know, and it's just, it just goes to show us how distracted we are. Neighbors praising Lugo and the barbers at the Look Sharp Barbershop. But he says he's not a hero. He was just in the right place at the right time. And it was just a, a gratifying moment, like I always say. And I'm thankful that I was able to get there on time. The police department did look into it, and they say the parents were nearby and reunited very quickly. They just want to praise the magnificent acts of Osvaldo Lugo. Wow, and those two barbers from Connecticut joining us now, Osvaldo Lugo and Rafael Santana, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. Hi. Thank you. Take us back to this moment, please. You see this little girl running down the street in the middle of a haircut, and, and what happens? So I seen the little girl, I seen the reflection of the little girl. Mm -hmm. She had a pink sweater, um, and I immediately said something, and Olvaro reacted quick, thank God, and, um, and we got to her on time, but, yeah, thank God I was here that day. Yeah. Great. That day we came to ready to work. It was early in the morning, and um, <clears throat> when he said that, I, I mean, as a business owner, I have never heard in three years anybody say, "Hey, what are little kids doing outside the street playing?" I mean, that's that's not a normal thing to say. So when he said that, it caught my attention. It caught my attention. So I'm thankful that I was able to to take it seriously. As soon as he said that, and I look outside the window, and I saw the little child running full speed towards the intersection, I just couldn't sit here and, and look to see what's going to happen. I just needed to react. I mean, we're looking at this video again. Do you wonder what would have happened, what could have happened if you didn't catch that reflection and then immediately act? Do you wonder what could have happened that day? I'm for sure, I'm for certain that nothing good was going to come out of this because I've been in business for three years, like I said, in this corner. And I'm here every day, every single day I, I'm here, and I know this area, I know the traffic, I know exactly, it was a recipe for disaster, yeah. and, and I'm just thankful that that we were able to to avoid it. Rafael, tell me about the, the reunion. You say the mom was nearby. What was that moment like when, when you returned this little girl to her mom? Um, she was just surprised and scared. She was just scared because she was looking for her. She was worried. So it was just, it was a quick, it was a quick thing, you know, it's something that happens to anybody. Um, we can't really judge anyone because, you know, it's just, it's a quick, that was a quick thing. It was a quick second, a quick reaction. Thank God we got to it on time and there was no tragedy. What did you say to the little girl as soon as you made contact? I couldn't speak. Uh, as soon as I got, uh, I, I picked her up, 
Um, all I wanted to see is who she is because in my mind, I'm thinking it's one of my client's daughters that got out of the car in the parking lot. So when I'm looking at her and I, I didn't recognize her and all I heard, all I heard from her say, mama, mama. So then I knew right away that, that the child must have been from the neighborhood or perhaps from the yeah. bus stop. Last question. What do you think about being called a hero tonight? What? I mean, we, I did it out of, I'm, the, I'm a dad myself, so it was just a reaction from me, just being a dad. I don't know about being a hero, just was there, just at the right time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.